Oh my god, wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, I I blundered that. It's not my day again. It's just not my day. All right, here we go. Round one. Um, let's get going. Okay, let's play G6 here. We're playing an NM from Denver, I guess. I, John. Now, my ratings, I got my rating kind of a little bit high last, and I got up to 32.35, which is a little bit, a little bit insane. A Bronco fan, yeah. Gotta get, gotta get angry. Be a shark. Yes, be a shark, right? Yes, that's the Magnus. That's the Magnus take on it, right? Gotta get angry and be a shark. Thank you so much to Hugh Gamer for the Prime. Thank you so much. Um, I guess I'll play Knight G4, F6. I mean, he has multiple backwards paths. It goes to H4. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, H5 is a move here, I believe. I think H3, Knight H6, Bishop G3 or something. I don't even remember this line. It's been too long since I played this. Did I do Title Tuesday prep? No, I never do Title Tuesday prep. Never, never do I do prep for Title Tuesday. That's what it is. All right. Anyway, what happened? He played H6, go Knight H6. Castle's interesting. He gives me G5, G4. I mean, I have not castles here, so it's very interesting whether I should do it. I'm going to castle. I don't know. I wonder about G5, G4 just because he just because I have the Rook still on H8, but I'll just play it traditional here. Don't want to think too long on every move, though. He's too good to do Tilted Tuesday prep hardly. Okay, he plays that, but I mean, my gosh. I mean, he's really asking for it. I mean, he just lets me get the pawn mass here. This looks terrible for white. There's F4, there's FE4. I don't know. I mean, this looks horribly scary. Um, the only question is where do I put my pieces here? I do have H4, I also have Knight F5. I mean, there are a lot of options here. I just need to pick the right one. Um, I'm going to go here and just take the pawn. These are swim for the 28th. Thank you to Ubasu for the 26 months. Thank you so much to Ubasu. Appreciate it. Thank you. They have Queen D2 or something, maybe? Go here, target the pawn. Rook B1. I mean, I can take both ways. I guess I'll take with the bishop. Yeah, bishop D3, I expected. Um, <clears throat> still is a little bit questionable, though. Play Bishop D3. I'm going to play H4, though. I think I can go here in Queen G6. Thanks so much, chest up for the gift of sub. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, chest up. I think I'm okay here, but we'll see. Hmm. Okay, plays queen e2. Um, logical move. Actually, wait, no. Now I have to go knight of seven. I forgot. Oh, but Bishop F6 was maybe slightly preferable, but it still seems fine. He's also a little bit too slow on time here. Yay! Drop back. Thank you so much to Luki Wan for the 13 months. Thank you so much to Luki Wan. Appreciate it. Let's take with a pawn, of course. Pocket, 
You can play a5, but I think knight d7 is just completely fine. <laughs> it goes c6, which I don't actually like. Uh, that seems a little bit wrong, in fact. I think I just go here. And the problem is now I'm going to get a center. I'm going to get a big black center with d5 next to move. I think I should be winning now. He should have taken with the rook, but I think already trades and rook c7 was the only way to play it. Mm, this looks pretty ugly for white. Yeah, it goes bishop b1, but now, I mean, now the pawns start to roll. I don't even know if e4 is best, but it's it's kind of a little bit ugly here. Think about how I do this. Um, play bishop e5, but knight e5 looks right. There's king h1. Of course, I go rook a8 here. Just to prevent f3. Knight f3. I mean... Okay, whatever. If this is no good, so be it. But it's got to be right. Um, he goes queen e1. Okay, now after h3, I mean, everything's just collapsing here. I mean, g3 is pretty ugly. Okay, we got the win. Round one, one up, one down. So far, so good. Good first round. Good first win. One out of one. Dak wins his game as well. So it's all pretty standard so far. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good, you guys. Nice. Yeah. No, it was a little bit too slow, but it's it's not not a big deal. All right, one out of one. Let's see who else is playing. Let's pull up on Draken's game because he's still playing. Um. What happens? So, okay, so Andragon wins his game, uh, one out of one. Did I come with the idea of streaming chess when it was unpopular online back in the days? Uh, I was not the I was not the first one to do it. Um, I mean, obviously the 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 first people to really do it in, in any kind of like way where where it was big was the chess bras. I think they were the only like somewhat. I mean, big is relative, obviously. Um, but at the time, I think they were really the only channel that had any kind of traction um in the early days only channel i don't think any other tr any other channels had traction um but i could be wrong on that um so no i was not i was not the first one to do it but definitely levy no i mean levy i think levy started streaming after i i actually don't know when levy first streamed but um i i don't i don't know when he did no it was definitely the bras were the first ones for sure um let me take a look. When did I actually don't? Even, I felt I thought Levy started streaming in 2018 after me, but I could be wrong on that. It could have been a little bit before as well. Oh, that's right. Levy Levy had a Levy was not Gotham Chess. That's right. He had a, he had a different um he had a different username before that because they, they were like they were part of a group. But yeah, Le, Levy's first streams at IC were in, in tw early 2018. So yeah. Yeah, sorry, Jerry. J sorry, Jerry. Jerry was the one. Jerry, it was Chess Network and Chess Bros were the two earliest channels. I, I forgot. I forgot about the. Um, I, I forgot about. I forgot about Jerry. Jerry. Jerry for me is the like the true OG, the true OG of them all. I mean, that dude was like he was doing King Crusher was YouTube, I think, not Twitch. I mean, that same time period. But yeah, I mean, I, I think I think Jerry. Jerry is like I mean of the like he's like the true the true 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 OG. King Crusher, yes. King Crusher was there early, but he was only on YouTube. He wasn't on Twitch. We're talking about Twitch. Um, although Jerry, I think, was on YouTube as well, right? He's definitely on YouTube as well. So, yeah. Tom and Jerry, good one, you guys. But anyway, yeah. Um, all right, so what do we have? Let's let's see some other games. Okay, Mechanic 1. Where does the stock market go from here? I mean, I haven't been looking really closely at it. Um... See, market's red again. That's not great. I had a bad feeling last week. I was glad that, I mean, obviously, like everybody else, you know, I'm losing money. But I was glad, at least in my short-term trades, I was able to get get some profit last week. But I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel great about the market. I don't know if we can go up. I don't really think we're going to go way down either. But I think we're in, like, a lull. That's my guess. All right. Um, okay, so, so waiting for... Um, see, Minlay was playing... Oh wait, my next game just start. Okay, let's go G3 here. 
comment on the crypto uh the crypto crypto cup uh not shocking that magnus won i was actually surprised when i looked at it. it seemed like basically three players played well and everyone else played like dog water is what it felt like honestly it, it felt like three players were like there they were ready to play and and they they they, they came out firing it seemed like everybody else just was like flat the whole event that, that's what it felt like to me it was very strange i mean if, obviously it felt like magnus fruge and pragnanta came to play and somehow everybody else was just flat Everybody else was just flat. Like Anish was not inspiring. Le uh, not Lenny, sorry. Levon also, it just seemed like never got anything going at all. Like it was just very, very strange. It was just a very strange event to me. Cause it seemed like three players played great. And I mean, literally nobody else played, played well even. So it was very, very weird. Let's take, drop back. The devil inside, the devil inside. Will anybody comment on the event in St. Louis? We will have a live broadcast on our channel, you guys. We showed a promo the other day. Uh, we'll have coverage on our channel. So it's going to be exciting. Um, I will just take and play C3. I don't really want to take, but I think it's... I can't really be too aggressive here. Okay. Um, so I take and play like... I don't know why I did that, actually, but... It's Castle. I think I should play E3. Just try to chop the center here a little bit. He's knight before maybe. Go here. Queen D6, interesting move. Um. Hmm. Oh, I think I missed something there. Yeah, I did miss something. I still have it though. Wait, I still have it, but okay, whatever. Let's just play solid chess here. Let's play rook c1. Take with the queen. Just, yeah, I just blundered f4 for no reason. What the heck am I doing? At least I have 95 here. So EF4, Queen C5. Take and take. Take now a seven is hanging. I mean, I have play, but it's still not wonderful here. I have to be very careful in how I finesse this. Um, Queen e three looks. Say, I mean, I think I have to just make a draw here. I don't like my position at all. I think I have to make a draw. Yeah, this is not not very good I block but i mean this is actually also kind of unclear a little bit you should not have played queen d5 because now there's also knight g6 tricks so he takes i'd love to take with the pawn but i can't I, if i take with the pawn he has rook d2 but i might win now i have two outside pawns i have two outside pawns to roll i could win this position um i just have to be very smart about how i play this um how do i do this I want to go knight f3. I'll go here and f4. Yeah, this makes sense. Well, he does have g5. Let's go here. Tricky. Please win. I'm trying. But now I have knight c6 also. Wait. But now I have d4. Wait. No, now I'm going to win the game, I think. He just misplayed this. Yeah, now I think I win the game. 
Okay, because I can I can grip so he has no push. Yeah, I should win now. Yeah. Too much on the line. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. Your channel points mean everything, right? Okay, now I go A3. I lock the grip. I go Rook C3, no C5, and I think I'm technically going to win the game. Yeah, I'm going to win now. Oof. Okay, let's go here. Although it's still not easy, I, but I, I'm pretty confident that I'll win. Uh, Rook B6 is a good move. Um, so I'll go here, try to run my king to the queen side. It's still not easy, actually. It's still quite tricky. I think it's a just crazy catterco for the prime. Although I'm threatening to take the pawn, which I just realized. I should be winning. I mean, the pawn should play. Draw? What draw? Okay, now, I mean, now, now if the pawns don't... Don't rule the day. I guess I'll go here. Just cut, them, cut off anything silly from, like, losing this pawn. I mean, I have three pawns here on the queen side, which should be enough. I mean, I just have too many pawns here, and his king is way off sides. I mean, a4 should be winning. Actually, why did I... I mean, this should be winning. I mean, I have too many pawns. Does b6... Wait, b6 takes b7, rook d1, king b5, yeah. Yeah, b7 and king b5. Because he can't go rook d8. Now I go here, and now I cut. I cover both squares. Yeah, now I just block, and I make a queen, and, and we win the game. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's make a queen. All right, apparently it doesn't feel like resigning. Mm, okay. All right, we got the win. All right, we got the win. Two out of two. Let's keep going. Um, what other games do we have? Uh, yeah. Okay, what, what it's saying is everybody's on two, right? So let's see. Dropstone is still playing. Um, he's probably drawing with perfect play, but might, might, might win this game. I had so many channel points on the line. What is G? He just totally choked. I mean, he just choked. He played G5. What was that? Yeah, I mean, there's too many pawns here, of course. E3, E2. He just choked it all away. He needs so much to boss and Buckeye for the six months. So bizarre. Yeah. Uh, favorite U.S. city to Eaton? I don't have a specific favorite. I mean, they're, they're all pretty good. Uh, is Doobie Doobie Doo playing? I don't think Dubov is playing. Um, is he? I don't know if he is. But I could be wrong. So, anyway, yeah. Who is Dropstone? Dropstone is uh, David Provin, strong grandmaster from Russia. Tani is still playing? Okay, Tani, Tani. Okay. We have another El Clasico, Rook versus Knight, one of the many El Clasicos. We have another El Clasico. Who is Alexander L? That's Alexander Lenderman, a strong American grandmaster. Ugh. <sighs> Rook and Bishop ver Rook, 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 Rook versus Bishop is one that I understand playing. Rook, Rook versus Knight is just so drawn a million times. 
I mean, knight f6, knight c7, literally every move draws. King e6, of course. Why do they do this? Well, this isn't on Tawny. This is on the Angry Bird. Um, he's like, he keeps playing. Or, sorry, Angry Twin. Actually, this is pretty poor. Isn't this guy Yusuke? Why is he Why is he angry? This is Gaio, right? Oh, no, sorry. This isn't Gaio. I, sorry, I thought the picture looked like Gaiuski, a Polish GM, but it's somebody else. Never mind. Um, thank you so much for telling it, Shark, for 30 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um... Who is Azri Chess? That is, um, Azri Chess is a shocker on Mamadiarov. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Round three coming up in a second. The break, I believe, is after round four, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm playing Keyboard. This is Borky Pradojevic. I played him in, um, I played him in the World Youth Chess Festival in, I think, 1999, I think it was. It was 99 or 2000, one of those early years. I played him and, um, he also, I think, played against Magnus some years back as well. I, pl I played him in like 99 or 2000. I don't remember which which World Youth Chess Festival it was. Somebody in chat can take a look, but I did play him many, many years ago. We're going to get the Gurganidze set up here where I play H5. You guys have seen me play this a million times. You have the uh, two pawn chainies here, um, and it's just a game. I go h4. I mean, this is all very normal. Knight of five, knight d7. Of course, I remember. Yeah, it was. Uh, I believe it was some kind of Sozin Sicilian. It might have been a knight orf with bishop c4. I think it was a knight orf Sicilian with bishop c4. But somebody in chat can tell me because I, I don't actually remember right off. I'm gonna play a5 here. I think it was. What was it? it was Pr Pr Pradojevic Nakamura. I played him in 2001, but I played him earlier than that, too, I think. Oh, no, sorry. No, I had white against him. No, sorry. I pulled the game. It was 2001 in Oro Pace Del Mar. Sorry. I was wrong. Actually, the game I was thinking was a game that I played against another GM from that same region. His name was Anti Burkich. That was the game that I was thinking about. And I played against Anti Burkich. That was a uh, Sozin. Burkich, of course, is a GM as well. I think he's from Serbia, but I'm confusing the games. Because the game against Pradojevic was, uh, was in a Sicilian where I had the white pieces. The game against Burkich was a Sozin. Uh, thank you so much to G the stud for the 21 months. Okay, I guess I'll just go back. Why not? Put the bishop on a nice square here where it's locked in by the pawn. I'll pull it up afterwards. Did I play Dennis in the World Blitz? Which Dennis? Dennis who? Dennis the Menace? I don't really want to castle. I'm just going to manually put the king on G7 because the rook guards the pawn. So it's like, I don't really want to do a whole lot here. Dennis, oh, Dennis Kadrick. Yeah, yeah, I played Dennis Kadrick, but that was just a regular game, and he's much younger than me, so I don't understand the relevance. I think I'll just go here, because I can just take. I think, I mean, I don't know. Queen E7. Oh, he wants to go Knight G1. Okay, so he has an actual idea here, so I do need to be careful. I'm going to go here. So that I can take and take the pawn. He's trying to get his Knight to F3. That's what he's trying to do. So I have to make sure he can't get the knight to f3. He plays c5. I mean, wow, he takes. Ah, uh, he has an idea. Actually, I just realized he's got a cheeky idea. Hmm, this could be a problem here. Actually, wait a second. If I go 97. I mean, I guess I kind of, I kind of have to do this anyway. I don't, I don't love it, but I think I have to. Yeah, he's going knight g1. I mean, I saw this, but I can still stack the rooks, maybe. Probably only going to be a. I probably can only draw this. My knight is garbage here. My knight needs to be like on any square except e7. This is problematic, actually. Like very problematic, potentially. And he plays bishop e1. I mean, this is bad. 
Yikes. Um, shoot, I did blunder. I did blunder in this game. Um, there's some way to reroute the knight. That's what I have to figure out. How do I reroute the knight? Yeah, my knight on e7 is somehow just so bad. Um, I might just be lost, actually. I have to find some way to open this up. I'm going to go here and this is bad. I might just be lost here. Actually, I think a poor layer for the three months. If my knight could get to E6, I'd be totally fine. But somehow I got my knight on E7. I don't even understand how. It's got A5 and Rook A4, and I'm, I'm in bad shape here. Yay! Oh, here and take, I guess. Oh, he played. Oh, wait. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he played a move I wasn't expecting. Oh. The heck? I right, played it. I thought he was going to go. I thought he was going to go Rook A1. He plays Rook there. Okay, that's frustrating. Yeah, it's just completely lost. Oh, that's so disappointing. I just... Or wait, is it? Wait, no, I've got this in... I mean, I'm obviously losing here with perfect play, but maybe I can... Who's there? Wait, Knight of Three is a mistake. Okay, I have chances again. I have chances to maybe save this game now. I think I'm going to lie in TNT thing of Mahoney. Knight F3 was a horrible move. Yeah, I think I'm going to save the game now. I'm very lucky, but I think I'm going to save it. G3. I mean, of course I go here and takes. I have Knight D4 and Knight C5. Oh, wait, he's got... Why didn't I see this? I'll go here. No, I just blundered it again. Oh, he blunders. Oh my gosh. Wait, what happened to my mouse? Wait, what happened to my mouse? <laughs> my, ma my mouse just spazzed there for a second. Jeez. Jeez, <laughs> my mouse just spazzed. Oh my gosh, I almost had a heart attack. Thanks so much to Life After for the Prime. Yeah, it's, be it's be I'll tell you why. It's because my mouse is connected to, I have one of these, um, it's like I've got one of these like connectors for USB because I don't have enough USB slots. And so I think what happens the way that I jumped when he blundered 92, it moved the cord that's plugged into that. And so it disconnected it. Yeah. Yeah, that that's what happened. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because I, it's on the floor, so it's like I have the cord on the floor, and I think the way that I jumped, my foot just kicked the kicked the connector just just a bit. But yeah, we got the win, huge, huge win, three out of three, big win. You know, you're never lost. Your comebacks are insane. Hey, it worked out. I think it's so much a lion TNT. I think he once he played, uh, once he let me get the knight to e6, he was still winning, but it was tricky. Have I ever played Demis Hasabis? No, I have not. No. I was playing Kadrich. What do you mean? No, that was Borky, wasn't it? Wait, what? Wait, wait a second. Wait. I thought that was Borky. Wait. Am I wrong? Isn't this Borky or is this Kadrich? Oh. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh. Oh, I'm wrong. I thought that. Oh, I, I had it wrong. I thought that was. Uh, okay, clearly I'm crazy. I thought that was Pradojevic. It wasn't. It wasn't. Is Hikaru buying in this market? What do you mean? You mean finance? You mean, you mean the stock, stock market? I'm holding a bunch of stuff. I mean, I, I'm lucky. I got all, all the long term plays that I had in options. I, they, they clo I closed them out or they expired last week. So I haven't done anything this weekend. I'm not feeling great.
on the other hand we're down five percent in the last like three days five or six percent so there's probably a buying opportunity somewhere in here I mean we'll see it depends what happens in Jackson Hole it depends it depends what happens in Jackson Hole all right anyway three out of three let's see who else is playing um Minlay is still playing he won his game not shocking okay let's see Ohanian um three versus one easy win on shoot this is a draw okay so we have no games left so next game starting okay round four we're playing a medi force from Iran or medi force or whatever yeah let's play g3 Did I grind 30 or 50 off stream? Yeah, there was, I was just, I last night I just felt like playing some bullet. Okay. He's using up a lot of time here. He's down 15 seconds. Did, the, did his internet die any wrong or something? Do I keep playing turns for St. Louis? Uh, you know, in a way, I'm happy what happened in the in the 960 yesterday because otherwise it would have been really brutal. Like, I'd have to play this and I have to play the 960 later and then I'd probably have to play the 960 tomorrow and it would just be too much. It would be too much. Thank you so much, Amir Gunner. Um, no, I thought he was online. You guys were saying he was disconnected. Oh, this is Golami. Oh, this guy, yeah. Yes. This guy got some award from uh, someone who was... Whatever. I don't want to be political, so let's not go there. Play bishop d2 and queen c1 and knight c3 here. No, he 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 got a um he he got he got uh he got like a medal or something from from the 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 commander who was assassinated by the U U.S. military in Iraq. He he got he got he he got like he got award a medal for something because basically he he didn't play an Israeli player and he he got he got an award from S Suleimani, the guy who we assassinated in Iraq. Uh, let's play knight c3 and knight e4. I'm gonna play h4 h5 here. Thank you so much to Cactus from Mexico for the prime. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much. Yeah. So yeah. Crazy world. What's to say? All right. Thanks so much to Dad for the prime. Yeah. Please beat this guy. Okay, but come on, chill. Let's go after and queen h six. Chill. I'm just gonna put the queen back and play g four here. Uh, g four is kind of interesting, but you know what? I'm just gonna play knight h three, knight g five. Ah, uh, he's just gonna go queen f8. I mean, if e4, I can. T okay, yeah, he's just gonna try to trade queens. Very cheesy. Let's play e4. Um, knight a6 is interesting. I think I'm gonna castle and try to play f4. Maybe I can also take. I mean, it's a very strange position. I can also take and play f4 here. F4 looks right though. F4 looks right because I can take and take as well. I'm from Israel, so not chill for me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he takes, but... um. Oh, did I misplay this again? I think I did. I thought I could... Got Bishop... Um... No, wait. He's got Bishop F5, but it doesn't quite work, does it? Oh, no. I blunder. Ah, why did I do this? I should have taken and played... Well, no, maybe not. Maybe I just blundered. Ah, this is a mistake by me. Yeah, I just I I, I forgot that I had he had rook g five at the end of this line. Unfortunate. Yeah, bishop f five is a mistake because now I have knight d six hitting everything. I'm probably better here now. All right, finds bishop e six, but is that actually a good move? I don't think it's a great move, but at the same time, I don't really have much either. I guess I'll just try to trade some rooks here and play like rookie two and what it is. It is what it is. Okay, plays rook b8. I have a through or c3. I think I'm going to play. 
I'm gonna play a3. I don't know if a3 is the right square, but it was knight c7. So he's he's really just trying to draw the game here. Um, this is where I need to get aggressive. Get angry. Get mean. And play like rookie four and rookie a4 or something. Try to be aggressive. Play Daniel and go 33-33. Indeed, yeah. He's very low on time, I just realized as well. Isn't that just a... Oh, he has b5, but I have 98. Doesn't really do much. Um... I feel like I should be better here. I'm gonna play a4 and like a5. I'm trying. I'm trying to basically squeeze it a little bit. Slowly squeeze this. Plays b5. I'm very surprised with that. I'm gonna go a5. I mean, I think his pawns are weak, basically. Are I'll go. I can play b4 here. I can also just go like rookie two. I mean, he's too low on time here. I, I don't see how he's going to save this. Now, obviously, take. I think check is right. Go back. I should have played rookie five, too. But knight b4 is a mistake. Now I go c3, and I can take. Still not thrilled by this. If I take b4. I think I'm going to take and go d4. Because b4, I have knight a6, knight b4. And I mean, I'm up a pawn here. I should be winning. It should take... It'll take a little bit of technique to, to work it. But it should be winning. Yeah, it should be winning. I guess b5. I mean... So, okay, I have to take. He takes, I take. I mean, with the outside pawn in particular, I I mean, outside pawn and his king is cut off. Still is not easy to win, though, annoyingly. Oh, wait, did I just blunder this? Oh, shoot. No, I think I'm still winning. Wait. I have king c5, king c6, and I'm just in time. Yeah, just in time to win. All right, we got the win. Four out of four. Thank you so much to Ed, Eduga Kawonen for the eight months in the Lion Sonnenberg for seven. Appreciate it. Basically, I just win this game because eventually I can just go d6 king here. The king is just way too far away. So four out of four, you guys. Pretty good start. Can't complain. Um, unfortunate for my opponent from the standpoint that he probably had chances with more time. But we got the win. Four out of four. All good. A lot of people on four out of four. Who else is there? Minlay, Tiger Shape, Tiger V Shape, God of Kamsky, Fandarine, Lenderman. Gawain Jones, Azat, and myself um, is... Uh, let's see if Andre is playing. Man, I better call Saul. Uh, let's watch Andre. Oh, Andre is playing Amon, but Amon loses. Okay, so Andre can win, so he's also on four out of four. All right, on that note, you guys, we're going to take our first break, um, and we'll be back in a, we'll be back in a couple, of, uh, couple of minutes, you guys. Thank you so much, Luke UD for the nine months. Thank you to Ergbert for the four months. Appreciate it. Thank you. 11 out of 11, we'll see. Thank you so much to Oni for the prime. Thank you so much to Oni, man. I came close last week. I think it was on 8 out of 8 or 9 out of 9 that I threw round 10 to Gata and I drew 11. But, all right, let's take a look at the standings. It's looking like a, a big day so far. A lot of good people on 4 out of 4. A lot of good people. Yeah. Do I contribute to a 401k? I have um, I have a SEP IRA account. And I have a, yeah, I've got, I've got stuff that I contribute to, yes. So, anyway. Yeah. All right. You got this? Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to it. It should be fun. Should be a fun finish again, as always. I believe in you? Yeah. Did I watch House of the Dragon episode one? No, I didn't. I didn't. I don't got this like yesterday. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah. 
And just for anybody who's wondering, I mean, I won't talk much about Yosef, but I'll say one thing. There are variants where people can be significantly weaker players and play a lot, lot better or be a lot stronger. And I'll tell you what those are. The, the three variants for Factor I know this to be true are um, they are Crazy House Chess, there's Bug House Chess, and there's Atomic Chess. There probably are other variants too, but those are the three variants of chess where people can be like 1900, 2000, and then suddenly play like 2700 in those variants because it's very different than normal chess. Um, but in something like Fisher Random, that's not the case. So that that is what I will say. That that is not the case. Thank you so much. Chess poker only for the four months. A bug house, bug house, bug house, bug house, crazy house, and atomic. Like there are people in bug house who might be like 1900 over the board, and they're they literally like 2500 at bug house or 2600. It's just like I think the best the best uh, crazy house players in the world are. Um, I think the best crazy house players in the world are like 23, 2400 generally. I think Justin Tan is the best one, if I'm not mistaken. And and he's improved a lot, actually. I, th I think he's improved a lot, if I'm not mistaken. But I think when he got really good at crazy, I was just like 2200 or something. Anti-chess also is very deep theory these days. Ah, uh, anti-chess makes sense, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, anyway. Four-player chess. Yeah, I mean, there are, a lot of var there are a lot of variants. But 960 is not one of them. Um, So... All right. Uh, anyway, four out of four. I think we're on the break next. It says next round starting soon. Hey, you are I'm a big fan. Are you going to play the the? Okay, you're saying some gambit today. No, sir. No, sir. Very funny. Nice try. All right, just chilling, chilling. Thank you so much to that Bud. 961 for the 10 months. Bud 961, just subscribe. Did anything happen with the cheater during 960 yesterday? I don't think games have started, right? I mean, all the games are, yeah, all the games are over, right? I mean, I don't know what's going on. Is 960 harder than regular chess? Um, Objectively, yes, because in, in regular chess, you can just start out with an opening very easily. The first, like, 15 moves, you can play no matter what. Gukesh may actually get a draw in his game. I'm not shocked that Gukesh got a draw, um, but I, I knew he wasn't going to win. But the problem for Gukesh is I think even with the draw, he loses, like, he loses, like, three or four points, right? His rating is so high now. Maybe not, because he's probably playing off of a lower published rating. Um, but, yeah. Okay, let's go back. You, you said that he... Yeah, somehow he saved it. How did he save it? Plays h5. Let me uh, let me change the scene. Played h5. Takes here. Ah, so see, he got some counterplay. He got a wooden shield with a bishop on d4. He got some counterplay, and there that's why he was able to save the game. He got some counterplay, and, and he, he had this nice wooden shield. As soon as he got the bishop to d4, there was counterplay. That, that was the point. As soon as he got counterplay, then, of course... He was able to save the game, and he stacks, and then, of course, this is just a draw. Yeah. Do I plan on streaming any variety? Well, you guys, you know, over the past month, we have risen in the ranks. We are currently, I think, the number... number. F oh, wait, it's my move. Let's go G3. We are currently the number... Um, I think we are the number... Uh, let me change the scene. We are the number number five Rune Terror stream over the past month, so I do stream other games from time to time. All right. I'm going to play Bishop G2. It's been working so far. No reason to change it up. Let's play C4 and maybe Knight C3. Okay. Go e3 92 and d4 here why don't i play the catalan of course i could play it i plays h5 so he wants to play this h4 g4 stuff that gets very bunky bunky i think although normally you do it with the bishop on c5 not on g7 so it's a little bit different here so yeah i love how so many dutch players are immediate loss when i play yeah he's gonna go f5 i take i thought he was supposed to take with the pawn not the bishop but i could be crazy I don't know if a3 is right but it looks right because it just it stops these weird night jumps okay um d4 is a move i think i'm gonna play b4 though okay, i think I, I i need to play d3 at some point because otherwise it's like not so wonderful i think he missed bishop d3 i think we both missed it. i think he should have just gone there but whatever thank you so much to sid marvel for the 19 months thing in november x thank you so much life is like an aloof leaf beware of the goat what sorry what life is like a what huh 
Okay, well, I'm, I'm so confused right now. I, I, I don't even... Okay, whatever, let's focus. Um, I'm gonna go knight d5 and takes, probably. Oh, I also have e4, so of course knight d5 is a good move. <laughs> I think I'm doing very well here, by the way. It feels like I'm better. I don't even know what an aloof leaf is. What is a, an aloof leaf? Yay! I think there's a Fabby Jade for the five months. Now he goes there, but I don't know. Somehow this doesn't look right. I'm going to play E4 here and take, I guess. I know this looks terrible to me, but to my untrained eye, at least. Okay, I'm going to go here and take the pawn, maybe even play F4. I'm just gonna eat the juicer. I mean, a5, b5. I mean, the thing is, I can still castle too. I missed something though. I just wrote, I missed g5. I'm lucky that he didn't play it. That could have been very scary, actually. Um, let's go here. So the point of he takes, I take with the e-pawn, and then I think I can still castle maybe if I need to, but as long as he doesn't get a grip on the dark squares, I'm better here. It's really all about the grip. Can he get a grip or not get a grip? Takes, which I thought was a huge mistake. Um, wait a second. I can sack materials too. Wait a second. Wait a second. I go king d2, queen b2, king e3. 102 just subscribe 95 queen h5 i mean i don't know i, I gotta go for it I, I gotta do it if it's no good it's no good but that's life i mean bishop e4 is such a huge idea here i think i'm gonna sack actually i, I gotta go for the meme meme dream um yeah let's just go for it i gotta go for it I mean, this is not trivial for black because everything's hanging here. He plays rook f6. I thought rook e8 was the only try, but now I have f4, I think. No, but I just... Okay, he just lost. I just taken this game over. Okay, now it's just a matter of tech... Oh, he just resigns. Yeah, I mean, it's just completely lost. We got the win. Five out of five. Good win. I think after rook e8, he was still okay, though. Yeah, he, he is rook e8, right? He's rook e8, and it's still very messy. So I saw F4, but this is this is wild. Takes, takes, rookie eight, and Oh, he can oh he can sack with rookie. Oh wow, what a sack. And this is a draw. Wow, rookie three. That's crazy. Saves the game. Hmm. But I was better, no? Oh, maybe I was never bet was I I'm supposed to castle here and I'm better? Wow. Supposed to castle here. That's crazy. Thank you so much to Anonymous for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to Anonymous. Thank you, X Hoppa, for the seven. Thank you so much to Anonymous for the five gifted. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Oh, uh, someone was asking, oh, is this my last stream until um until St. Louis? It is my last stream, yeah. Since since the 960 is not going on, this is the uh, this this will be my last last day of streaming, and then I'll I'll probably I'll probably um, I don't think I'll stream from St. Louis. We'll have coverage uh, obviously on our channel, but yeah. Why did I castle? I know. Tell me about it. who's someone's up material. Minley's just up a piece. No, he's just up a pony. Yeah, he's just up a pony. We can't see the standings. Um, standings are here. 
Yeah, Andraken won as well. I won. Tiger VL shape, Blue Wizard. Okay, all these guys. Uh, so they're gonna be several of us. I thought you were a streamer first. Of course, I'm a streamer first. But it's it's a nice vacation from uh, from my real job to go play a chess tournament. I mean, it's no different than the can. It's exact same thing. It's like it's just a nice little vacation for my real job. I mean, it's, I'm lucky that I can can go play chess for fun. So yeah, eight and a half is just a tie break. It doesn't matter. Okay, Alexander L wins as well. He's on five out of five. Yeah, go go on vacation. You deserve it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Minlay is gonna win this game. Chess tournament is chill from strenuous work, of course. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to get a break. Do I still pay for hotels? This is getting a little bit spicy. Um, this E six, E seven, E six. E6, E7, and I think White was maybe still in the game. Yeah, because now there's 90, 95, of course. Not not hard to spot. Um, yeah, very poor by Verde Knight. He, I mean, actually very poor by Minlay. He let him back in the game here. I mean, after E6, I think I think it was actually still maybe a draw. I think there's only one even prime for the 23 months. Thank you so much. Why isn't Minlay streaming this? Uh, I'm the only person who, who generally, I think, streams these serious events. I think, like, Daniel and Minlay, they... I think they found that they, they actually the quality of their play suffers when they stream. So, so if they're really serious and they want to put in their max effort, I think that's why they don't stream it. Yeah. We have a promo as well, which I could maybe find the promo again. Um, well, let me see if I can find it. Uh, well, do I play, or play better on or off stream? I actually think I play better on stream. I think I've gotten so used to playing on stream that like playing off stream for me, it's very weird. It doesn't feel the same. Uh, last year you streamed from St. Louis and actually scored 11 out of 11. Ah, I was in St. Louis and I wasn't sure, but fair enough. Anyway, let's see. So we have what? Five people on five. A lot of people on five today. Um, why isn't, why isn't Daniel playing in title Tuesday? That I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea on that. That one. I, I really can't answer. And why is it play GCC? Cause that one or, or the CGC, it is a very serious event. I, I do. Uh, I feel like I, I have to myself in the best spot. And I do think sometimes like the last week in the RCC, I was a little bit, I, it would chill is the wrong word, but I, I wasn't, I was talking too much. I was doing a lot of little things very wrong. So it, it didn't seem right. Uh, Dan is catching up on sleep. Daniel, Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, I mean, we'll play the same thing. I mean, we always play this, this line. He just plays this, this very drawish. Um, Okay, can play like knight d7 or something. Yeah, we always play this line. I mean, it's just very dry. I'll, I'll wait for him to castle that I castle, and then we always play this. Uh, I'm going to play b5. I don't know if it's right, but it's something to do. Maybe like queen e7 and c5, maybe a5, b4. Normally, I wouldn't play b5. i play like a6 or queen e7, but I mean, the problem is it's just so dry. Actually, like... Yeah, I'm not even sure why I did this because like it's almost impossible to win this position now. It's I mean I can draw this very routinely many ways, but yeah, why why did I play b5? B5 was so careless by me because now there's just no way to win. Let's go here. Obviously trade and play like c5 again, just not very exciting. Be a little bit careful how I do this. I think I'll just play a6 and takes. I feel like I might have just made a mistake, actually. Now, why did I do this? Hmm.
I think I'm gonna, I think I have to take with the pawn, which is really kind of gross. I really don't want to do this, but the problem is if I take with the knight, he has 95 C5, queen a3, which I completely missed. Still should be fine for me, though, objectively. Also, it creates lift for the king in any endgame, so it's not like there are any, any back rank mates. It's like he doesn't have back rank mates because he took with the H-pawn. Thank you so much to Kiss My Axe for the 10, John the Wolf for the 2 months. Thank you so much to uh, Blinding Darkness for the 3, Jover for the 12, and Booglak for the 8. Thank you so much to Booglak. It plays queen e4. Um, okay, now I definitely go c5. Because the point now is that the everything's connected, I think. It goes queen g4. I mean, I assume I go king h8. I, I actually don't know if it makes a difference which square I go to. Um... I still have to be a little bit careful, though. I mean, I still have to be a little bit precise in how I do this. I, it should be a draw, but I have to be careful. Actually, rook c5 looks like a safe way to play it. Or not. Wait, rook c5? Yeah, I have to be a little bit careful here. It's not... Thinking too long, also. Um... I think this is okay. Rook d8, queen d8 should be fine. Oh, he just goes queen h4. So basically, Minlay essentially just, I guess, offers me a draw with this move. Wait, I can I can also just trade and play like knight d7. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to bail it out here with knight d7. It's not the time to go crazy. He can sack and probably just make a draw, but I'm not particularly afraid of it. Didn't play this game very well. I will admit that. This this game I did not play great. I could have also gone rook d8, I suppose, but. It plays queen d4, so yeah, we're we're just we're headed towards a um drawish, very, very drawish end game. I mean, you can try queen d6, I guess. I can maybe go queen b7 if I'm really feeling very ch cheeky. I don't I don't like g4, though. G4... I don't like this move. I know it's probably fine, but just it feels a little bit loosening because now he's going to give me time to get in. Although, of course, I missed queen b6 naturally. I didn't even see queen b6 as a move. Let's go here because I have rook a8. Not playing this game all that well, actually. I have to be honest. I feel like I'm not playing this game well. Okay, so... Of course, I should go queen c6. Yeah, I really don't feel like I'm playing this well. I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff for some reason. Like, I just missed queen f6 altogether. Just insane by me. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not playing this well. I'm, I'm just missing stuff in this game. I'm just completely missing things. Go. There, I guess, and then queen e7. Okay, it goes b4, which I think is... Whoa, why did I just get a pop of... Right, okay, let's go here on queen e7. I've got to move quicker. I'm moving way too slowly here. Play e5. Go here. Oh, why did I play rook c2? Yeah, that was a horrible move by me. Oh, I'm just misplaying this. I don't even know why. 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I just completely lost my mind for one move, and it's too much. Ah, that's so frustrating. Yeah, I just lost my moon move. I lost my mind for one move. I got careless for one move, and it's one move too much. Just got slippery. I got I got careless for one move, and just unfortunately, one move is too much. Oh, and that is just hangs, hangs another pawn too. What am I doing? Yeah, I got careless for one move, and it was one move too much. Yay! Eating food RN just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. A. Oh yeah, yeah. What am I doing? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just moving. I just yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I'm just I. That was a complete draw, and then I threw it. Like it was, it was drawn, and then I got careless for one move for no reason. Yeah, it was very careless by me. That's actually th this game. Speaking of stuff where we talk about playing games off stream, this is a perfect example of where off stream would have been better because I just I was talking too much at the critical moment, and then I just like I lost my mind. Yeah, I just lost my mind there completely. L let me pull up the game. It was completely fine, and then I just like lost my mind for three moves. Like right around here it's bad but it's not terrible but i allowed queen f6 which was horrible and here i didn't i was gonna play queen e7 and then i didn't play queen e7 which was just insane yeah i was gonna go queen e7 and i didn't do it like i was gonna do this and play knight d5 and then i'm like or rook d7 knight d5 and then i'm like no i'm not gonna do it and i played h6 which was horrible although apparently here rook c rook c4 still draws but i just got carols for like three moves and here also you know my big mistake i should have checked too because here at least there was a trick with um with rook h4 i played the wrong order uh he is 3000 plus at blitz he might be low rated right now no he's 3000 but no i just got careless for one move and i shouldn't have played i shouldn't have played b5 was, I, if i just play if i play the way that i normally do without b5 i just go queen e7 and c5 it would have been a draw but nah, that's what it is and so much kuzwix although i already mentally was I, was I was in a bad spot because like here already i'm like why did I play b5 because there's no chance of winning and I only create weaknesses by doing this but it's what it is all right it's only one game though it's unfortunate but it's one game I'm not concentrating well I'm a streamer you guys what do you want me to do I mean you also get used to it too you you get used to it that's the other thing that's very very tricky is at some point when you've been when you do nothing but talk all the time during all the chill games at some point you kind of you forget that you can't always do that I mean that's actually the thing I mean it's, it gets very tricky because like I've done it for years and years now so it's kind of it becomes a habit which is why I'm which is why when we talk about the CGC I won't I won't stream it for that exact reason because like uh, you know these critical moments like those extra three four seconds it doesn't seem like much but it actually does matter thank you so much to eating foom for the two months thank you so much to eating foom all right let's play the same opening I've been playing this against everybody everlasting love um h5 okay i guess i'll play h3 i mean i don't know if i should but whatever let's play e4 keep it simple knight c3 of course probably just f4 knight g2 maybe maybe knight f3 knight c2 i, I don't really know what i'm doing exactly but he played h5 uh man it would be awesome watching your insights when you play mags in the sgc yeah it would be but again as i said the problem is that i mean it's not you lose time every when I'm talking like I am losing time every like every time I do this I do lose time um do I really want to play a4 my instinct says no I'm gonna assume that I want to go for knight f4 so I put the knight on e2 versus f3 it's such enduring health for seven r nsc ncsu as well thank you so much I'm gonna go here knight d5 f5 kind of like my position here actually a five is a move I think I'm just gonna play a five because 95 I can always go d4 here like a good example would be like this sort of position where like I'm I don't want to jinx it but like I'm up 20 seconds and if I talk like after his move I'll lose like four or five seconds whereas if I was totally concentrated right here I'd be thinking about my next move on his time and it doesn't matter at this point in the game or, or or I mean like okay even in this event for that matter mostly but in a real event with like serious prizes 
I mean, to, to have some mishap because of that, like right here where I, where I have my response ready, those seconds add up. They do add up. Um, I guess I'll take and play queen b1 maybe. I want to go d4. That's my idea. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the main thing. That's the main thing. Is it like the, the those few extra seconds? It doesn't seem like much right now in these games. But you know, against a top player who's also calculating at a very, very high level, uh, it, it will it will actually matter at some point. Um, now let's see. I'm gonna play A4. I don't know if it's right. Probably it goes A6. I also create a square for the queen. Yeah, you say you'll understand less if I talk to him. Yes, I, I get the point of when you say that, but the problem is that like it's a habit now. It's not it's it's not like saying it just just turn it off. It's it's just actually a, a hard habit now at this point for me. It's just something I do. So I'm gonna play d4, build my center here. I have knight f4, of course, at some point. I also have e5, which looks very powerful. But this should be bad. Um D5 is a move. Hmm. I'll also just take a pawn. Oh wait, no, he's got bishop base six. Yikes. Let's just go here, yikes. That would have been really bad. I don't even like queen d3, honestly. It seems like a bad move. I think I had something better, like queen a2 or something. You can search the EMCG for the prime thing. Search the EMCG 44. Appreciate it. Thank you. I should win this game, though. It goes H4, which seems very weird to me. Um, again, it's hard to believe this isn't somehow winning. I really don't want to play G4. Where's the win? Whatever, I'll just do it. a mistake of course And now somehow I've messed up my time advantage too, of course.
heck did I just do to this position? That's just a draw. What the heck did I do to this? I mean, this is so completely winning. Like, ridiculous. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's so pathetic by me. I was up a minute and a half on the clock, and I, like, instead of just winning the game like I should, I find a way to mess it up. Ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, that's so pathetic. I mean, completely winning, and I just throw it again. Uh, this is so upsetting. Every every, every, every event now for the last, like, week has been... This, why, why did I even... E5 is probably okay, but why did I why did I play G5 even? I mean, it's just... Yeah, every event is the same thing. Every, every event is the same thing lately. I mean, I, I, get, I, I, I get the great position, and then I just think too long, and I just mess it all up. Oh, Knight G6 is winning here. Wait, why is Knight 6 winning? Oh, takes and rook f1. Okay, I mean, this is not easy to see at least, but yeah. If you care too much, you can do it if you don't care. It has nothing to do with caring. It's just like, just missing everything. It's just very annoying. I mean, this was not much different than the min lay game, actually, in many ways. Where it's like, I don't think I was up as much time on the clock, and I definitely wasn't winning, but like, it was fine. And then like, I just spazzed. It just took forever and just messed it all up. Same thing. Frustrating. Hate seeing on a losing streak. It's not about losing. It's just I mean I'm still getting the positions. I'm just I'm just not converting them for whatever reason. But uh, it's okay. No, that guy's not a cheater. No, he's not cheating. If he I mean if he was cheating because I'll tell you what what if he if he was cheating he would have had a winning position. He would have been really low on time still, but he would have had a winning position. That's the thing. He didn't have a winning position. He had a losing position. So yeah, no, no need to suggest that. It's, it's not. I don't think it's even streaming. It's just. Not, I think it's just a little bit tired, a little burned out, a little bit too much chess. You know, little little things are off, and it happens. Yeah. I just. I can't believe that I that I just spent thirty seconds to just not play a good move there. But yeah. I think. I think it's just a little bit too much. That, that, I think it's just too much chess more than anything because the little things are just off lately. Yeah. No, he's not a cheater. He's not a cheater. Although he did speed up. I mean, he played a lot quicker at the end. But again, there are a lot of players who can do that too. He's not the only one. I think it's much Skillix Gaming. Okay, I have to win this game. So I'm going to play G6 again, I guess. Problem is now I have no room for margin. That's the problem. Oh, great. He's going to play this one. I think there's a vice for the eight months. Viceroy Stark just subscribed. Are you glad you live in the time you? I've walked as some prep, of course, naturally. Would you have liked to see you challenge some of the old greats? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, you know what? This is a game where if it's a draw, a draw is not helping me at all. So I've got to go for this. If I lose, I lose. But I, I think I have to go for it because of the tournament situation. Normally, I would not do this. But I think I have to go for it just because the tournament situation dictates it. Tournament situ situation 100% dictates that I have to go for this. Um, I think I'm going to take with the queen. Because Bishop F4, I have E5. Um, I missed that. But I'm still fine, I think. This actually looks kind of questionable. Maybe more than a little bit. It actually just looks weird. This doesn't look right at all. Um, I should be much better if I play this correctly. So it's just a matter of precision here. 
I don't like Fish Page Six, but I think it's actually a good move. Wow, he lets me trade. Surprised by that. Okay, wait a sec. Now, now I must be better. Now, now I just have to be precise. Now I definitely am better. It's just a matter of being precise with the moves. Queen, queen f5, maybe. Knight b6 is also just fine, I guess. Go here. And in this case, I don't mind being down on I don't mind being down on the clock because. Well, I mean, I do mind, but I, I shouldn't mind that much because I think. Go here. Because I'm up a pawn here, so if I play as precise, I'm I strongly suspect that I should be winning. It goes queen e2, which is uh, not horrible, but there there's no world where queen f2 is the queen e2 is the right move. So let's go here and then. Yeah, now now I have queen e5, and I mean I think now I should just win the game. And I get knight d6 and castle, I'm just up a pawn. So yeah, I think I'm gonna win the game now. This is good. Important. Not too slow, yeah, but I mean it I still have a minute. So as long as the position clarifies itself early enough. Right, now I just go here to hit the bishop, and then I just castle and, and I should now, I mean, if I if I don't win this, well, there's nobody really to blame except for myself. I guess I'll go here, cut off a5. Queen is centralized very nicely. This, this should be winning. I'll go here. King b8, uh, maybe king b8 is better. King c7 feels a li little bit loose. Okay, plays queen f4. Still not easy. Queen f4 is a very, very good move by, by Dennis. Hmm. I don't want to trade. I guess I'll go here and e5 maybe. He's got a5 and I mean, and I should have got knight d7 too, of course. I guess I'll go b6. I don't know if b6 is right or not, but it seems like a move. Yeah, I gotta play e5. I have to take space in the center of the board here. Maybe rook f8 was better. I don't know. Go back so that I guard everything. Still very tricky. Yay! 94, I can go c5 or queen c7. What should e6 do exactly? I don't understand that move. This should be good for me now. I think I think I'm actually I'm starting to outplay him. I should win the game now. Yeah, now I have check and queens come off. I mean, it's a very important move. Um, don't have to trade, but I think I should. Let's go here and trade. I mean, I'm trusting that this a6 pawn at the end of the day is too much. Okay, I'll take. I'll go here. This a6 pawn should be a weakness in any end game. It was rookie one. Okay, I think I'll play b5, which is a horrible move. Of course, absolutely horrible move by me. But now at least my king gets out. I mean, oh, great.
And now I'm going to win. Again, horrible technique by me. I mean, I really just bungled this. Of course, I took the wrong pawn to boot. There we go. Yeah, very bad. Thank you so much to Brian the Brain for the two and X Ryan Nitro for the prime. Another bad game, but we get the win. No pineapple merch. We have merch coming soon, you guys. Anyway, after that win, we are on um, six and a half out of eight, so we're still in the hunt at least. So I'll be back in a, be back in a few minutes. Thank you so much to Bob Saget for the eight months. Thank you so much to Bob Saget. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, six and a half out of eight. Not a great score, but if I win out. I can probably get to like second or third. Yay! Thank you so much to Munchess. Thank you so much to Munchess for the 17 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, rest in peace. I agree. Yeah. All right, what am I on? Um, six and a half. I mean, tie break is pretty terrible, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Thank you so much to Ally Pro for the prime. Thank you so much to Ally Pro. Yeah. I don't look comfortable. Uh, I know I'm completely fine. I'm just like, I'm just, I don't know. Rhythms are off again. Not like hasn't been this way for the last like five days. Thank you so much synth wave for the prime. Well, yeah, drink some kombucha. Yeah, I got it at Costco. It's, um, it's a organic brew drive kombucha super berry. Like, yeah, I got it at Costco. So yeah. All right. Hmm. Hashtag ad, right, good one. All right. Um, there probably are no games, right? These these games are all over, yeah. Okay. Do I get recognized when I go out? I haven't gone out much lately, so not not really, no. But it was pretty insane when I flew to um when I flew to LA about a month ago to see my grandmother. Um, there, there, I think I got recognized by like six people in Houston and the Houston airport, which was kind of wild. Thanks for to Ryan MCS for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. Am I ever thinking of visiting London again? Of course I'll visit London again. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I was just at Houston airport. Yeah. IAH intern as the uh, Houston international airport, George, George Bush. I should have bodyguards when I go out in public. Jeez. No, you guys. I'm not LeBron. But thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much to It's a Legend for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Underscore the underscore legend underscore 27. All right. So six and a half out of eight is pretty straightforward. I have to win three games. But even winning three games might not get me to third. There are a lot of people on seven points, which is kind of insane. You're worth 59 million, man. Take care of yourself. Uh, thank you for that, you guys. I'm not. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys what I said during our Reddit React the other day, which is quite simple. Um, during our Reddit React the other day, what we said was, uh, what did we say? I said that basically, I remember watching this Jim Carrey thing. He was on like, he was on Oprah and he said something like, basically he wrote himself a check for $10 million and, um, and then like he, he said he would ha get a check or he'd be worth $10 million within like two years. And then I think like right as that time was up or something, he got the role in, big, in Dumb and Dumber and he got a check for $10 million. So, I mean, I guess the point is I should, I, I figure I'm not writing myself a check, but if I just talk over and over about being, about being worth 50 million, eventually it will like manifest itself or whatever. And it'll happen. Thank you so much to Raphael Dragon for the prime. Yeah, did I write myself a check? No, but I talk about it on stream, so I think it's the same kind of thing, right? Yeah, just just talk about being worth 50 million. It's just it's gonna manifest itself. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> and that's what happened, right? <laughs> All you have to do is talk about it, no work. Exactly, you guys. Exactly, yeah. 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 All right. Though I I mean I I'm not saying I believe I'm not saying I believe in it, but I'm I'm just saying that like uh that yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying that I actually believe it, but I, I that, that's what I'm going to say, you guys. <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right, you guys. Anyway, let's uh, let's just chill. Get ready for round number nine. It's gonna be starting in a second. Yeah, everyone in chat should write a check for ten million dollars. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course. I mean, the markets markets look kind of not wonderful. Anyway, anyway, starting starting pretty soon. I think I think I think the break started. I think my game was one of the last games anyway, so uh, we should be starting momentarily. All right, waiting for round number nine to begin. Yeah. Uh, love, love, money is the root of all evil. Well, I'm not. I, I'm not saying that, you guys. I'm just saying when people make that joke, which of course is not true. I'm just saying that I figure if I talk enough about it, maybe it'll happen. But I don't actually think it'll happen. I'd have 30k viewers if I had less ads. That's that's a great that's a great concept, you guys. Great concept. Um. I think Nick Merckx runs about like six or seven minutes of ads every hour and he has like 60,000 people. So pretty sure it has nothing to do with ads. Then again, if I actually believe it, maybe there will be 30,000 people watching, right? If I just believe that we're going to, we're going to have 30,000 people watching, right? Yeah. If I just talk about how I'm, I, one day I'm gonna have 30,000 watching, then I'll have 30,000 watching, right? No, this is not alcohol. This is kombucha, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Speak the extra 20,000 people into existence, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Thoughts on the Andrew Tate ban? I haven't looked at it closely. Uh, I'm not shocked by it, but I mean, it's what it is. All right, what, what, why is the game not started? I'm really confused. Oh, it is 0.1% alcohol. I didn't know that actually. Yeah. All right, here we go. Round. Oh, uh, I'm going to stick to it. It's been working so far. I might as well do the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing and play G3. It's, it's what I've done the whole tournament. Might as well do it this game too. All right, let's play D3. I'm going to do something. I'm going to play as Bishop G5, Knight C3, E4 nonsense again. No reason not to. Yay! I could have played Knight F3 too, I guess. Okay, goes D4. I guess Knight E2 must be right. I, I'm going to drop back. Maybe play C3, maybe Knight F3, maybe F4. Let's go F4. Knight F3, of course. I, mean, I guess I just castle why not I'm gonna play C there I'm really just gonna try to chop at the center here let's see what he does <sighs> okay he's gonna have to use a lot of time here trying to work out what's going on I was thinking for a long time. So he plays queen b6. So, I mean, my assumption is I trade. Ah, uh, he wants, uh, okay. I see his idea. So, okay. Takes looks right. He has to take with the pawn because this allows e5. So he has to take. He wants knight e4. That's his idea. So I'm going to go. Uh, now I kind of start to see what his idea is. Hmm. But I don't really believe that knight g4 is a problem somehow. I don't really believe this is an issue. So I'm I, I, I'm not worried about it. If he takes and I go rook b1, rook b7, I mean, again, I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like there's counterplay. That's my read, at least. Also, it's a very nice position to have in a, um, very nice position to have in a blitz game. I think in a classical game, it's probably terrible for me, but in blitz game, 
it's very tricky because of the imbalance here and the fact that he's having to burn his time whereas I haven't had to burn any time so right so he does play knight g4 so I did expect that now the question is um do I take on e5 no that's I need to this is a must win game for me too I play h3 take 66 six, d4 rook a d8 queen a4 bishop d7 no that's not right rook c1 is what I want to play how do I do this queen a4 is also wait how do I do this I need an imbalance here somehow okay this is where I need to use my time and this is exactly why I should not be talking but I am talking ah who cares let's just play chess Plays work D8, I expect that. Um Dan, why am I thinking so long here? Let's go here. I mean, I have F5, F6, maybe. Rook c6. I'm thinking too long. I'm, think, I'm just thinking way too long. F5, d4, 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 d4. Why am I thinking so freaking long here? Why can't I come up with a move? Like I just played Queen of Four now, I can't find a move. I'm gonna just, just move. Oh, I think it's a little zero for the 16. Okay, let's just go like A3, I guess. Okay, I think F6 is a mistake though. Because now he can't move the knight. He can play knight F2, but because F5 is a big threat suddenly too. Blunder is maybe too strong, but okay, I, I should focus here. It does it go here and now knight g1 and h3 g4 it's gonna get very sharp I'm gonna go h4 g5 somewhere in here Don't even care about this pawn just take it yeah I don't care about this pawn at all it's all about the king's side why did I do this though Of course, I blundered this too. I mean, he played well, to be fair. I can't be that mad, but. And now I blunder this too. Yeah, I mean, it's not my day. Wait, what's that? Wait, he just blundered this right back. What the heck was that? Wait, no, it's not over. Wait.
Oh, bishop c4 is a great move, actually. Oh my god, wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, I I blundered that. It's not my day again. It's just not my day. I mean, to, I have to give credit. I mean, he found a nice tactic, but... Yeah, it's just not my day. It's really not my day today. I'm just missing everything. I mean, why did I not play g5 right? I mean, the thing was right here. I just go g5. I mean, I guess he has king f8 anyway, but yeah, it's just, it's really just not my day. Yeah. No, I mean, it's the Nepo game specifically that, I, that, that really messed everything up. But like, even this, like, bishop c4, I didn't have any tricks, did I? I think it was just winning. Yeah, bishop c4 is a great move. I, I just missed it. And this just doesn't work. Oh, man, it's just such bad luck. Yeah. I'm going to be on fire next OTB event, probably. Actually, wait. No, it is losing because there's rookie two. There's not queenie two. Oh, not my day. I'll still play two more when that win and try to end it on a good note. But yeah, hasn't it just hasn't been my day. More like hasn't been my week. Oh, it's so disappointing, though, because I, I, I did. I did get a I did get my attack going there, too. Like I, I was better. No, I mean, the main problem for me is my time usage slash move decision making has been terrible. Like, I wasted 40 seconds to play queen a4 and b4. If I don't waste 40 seconds, I mean, maybe it results the same. But then I, I use that time in a more critical moment. Things are probably different. But yeah, it's just like, it just hasn't been good. I'll just win the last two and end, end on a high note. Yeah, hasn't been good. Spending too much time online. I don't think it's online. I think I'm just a little bit burned out at the moment, but it is what it is. Let's play the Grand Prix. Yeah, I'm just a little bit burned out at the moment. Let's go here and play F5. And unfortunately, I don't get a break. That's the other thing. Like, it is a break, but it's not. Like, I have to go to St. Louis now and play another tournament, so it's a lot. But whatever. Okay, let's play F5. Who is this? Of course, I get another very strong GM, obviously. Play here. But yeah, I'm definitely missing stuff. I'm missing stuff in every game right now. It's not good. Yeah. Thank you so much to Uncool Teacher for the Prime. But hey, at least today, there is, I mean, at least today, I can just say, you know, I haven't played well. My opponents have played well uh, versus yesterday, which is a little bit different, to put it mildly. Um, hmm. I guess I'll just take with the knight. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. I do not play enough Blitz anymore. I played Blitz. I was 32-65, yes, 32-35 at the start of this tournament, you guys. So I don't know what you're talking about. Um, the castles hangs upon. No, it does hang upon. Maybe just missed rook f7. It should be better for me still. Um, but um, but um. <sighs> Isn't that just a... this is actually somehow not blundering material? He's caught Queen E6, of course, and somehow somehow I'm not even better here. Unbel Wait, but I have knights. the heck is this knight f6 is an unbelievable move <sighs> it's 
Unbelievable, unbelievable move. Because if I take you as queen e6, I'm actually just worse. Or no, I guess I can go rook g7, and that's probably what I should have done, but whatever. The supreme move pawn takes pawn. No, I, I mean, I think that's actually a brilliant move by him. I guess I go here, maybe C3. Maybe Queen F2 is better, but. Yeah, he goes rook g8, I expected that, but that does give me c3 at least. I'm kind of holding on, kind of. Okay, so he takes. It's a bad move, because now I take and I get bishop c5. Or rook e1, maybe. He's a little bit too slow. Now that I survived the onslaught, I'm probably just going to win the game. I get b3, and then, I mean, everything's hanging, kind of. And he can't really guard the pawn, either. He guards that one, but now... Now I get this one, I believe. Oh, maybe not, actually. So, oh, wait. This guy's defending incredibly... Well, but I'm fine, okay, because there's still Rook F1. B5 is a creative move. Uh, I don't really want to trade. I have Rook F6. See, like, this is another example where I, I kind of want to not think forever. Well, let's just go here. Of course I'm um of course I missed that. Great, now I blundered this too. What the heck am I doing? Aaron LS2 just Terrible, it's a win. Thank you so much to Aaron LS for 17, terrible. Terrible. Horrible, horrible. Yeah, even this game, yeah, even in this game, the guy's playing really well. He's, play, he's playing well. Played a good game, yeah. Do I prefer OTP or online? I mean, I like them both. Um, I would say that right now, I mean, I'm pr I prefer online mainly because I've actually, like, soured on travel a lot. Traveling's just become a real chore, a real pain. Pain in the you-know-what. So I would say recently, I would say it's, uh, I would say I prefer online. So that's just what I would say. How is this a win? Because my opponent uh, ran out of time. No, he played well. I didn't play great, but he played incredibly well. Um, he misplayed the opening. He was much better. And he misplayed a little bit, and then it was about equal. But he played like that middle game incredibly well. Incredibly well. He played almost perfectly. And I say that knowing that like he's not doing anything. It's Balop. Yes, I do know who he is. Yeah, yeah. 
To be honest, maybe consider not even looking at chess at all before St. Louis just clear your head. Maybe. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get any prize money, but maybe I can still like win the last game, at least finish on a decent result. Maybe. No, oh, we'll see. Who has dropped someone that's David Pravin? Very strong Grandmaster. But of course, he lost his next game, obviously, after beating me. Yeah, it's what it is. Actually, you know, what's really annoying is that I'm looking at the leaderboard and the leading score is 9 out of 10. So if I kept it together, I would have had a shot. I would have had a shot going to the last round if I could have kept it together. But that's what it is. Kombucha is actually 1 to 2% alcohol. I didn't, I didn't actually know that, but hey. Okay, round 11 starting in a second. Oh, what do you, what recourse do you have if chess.com ignores a report of flagrant cheater? You don't have any recourse because when you play on the site, it's no different than any other place. I mean, you're agreeing to their terms of service or their user, user, uh, user, or end user license agreement. One of those two. And I don't think EULAs are used much anymore. I think it's, T it's TOS nowadays, but those are the two things. So you don't have, uh, you don't have any recourse. We're playing Neil's Grand Delicious. I'm drunk, yes. Let's play D5, why not? Niels doesn't want to play solid, I'm sure of that. Niels wants to be wild and aggressive. If he plays something solid here, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like very sad. Of course he decides to play something solid rather than something aggressive. <sighs> okay, how do I spice this up without spicing it up is the question. I want to spice it up, but I don't know how to spice it up, so I'm just gonna castle here. Uh, nothing going my way. Yeah, even this opening is just like as dry as can be. So I'm probably gonna do something silly and maybe lose this game because I, I have to spice it up. I mean, I, I want to win this game. So yeah, I don't even know how I'm supposed to spice it up. So I guess I'll just play C6. Maybe I'll take with a knight on D5. Again, obviously play something as flat as flat as can be. So I'm gonna take with a knight, which is wrong. I know it's wrong. I'm 100% sure of that. I'm going to give him the center, but like if I take and he goes bishop by four knights to three, the game is going to be a draw. So whatever, who cares? Just play chess and it's what it is. I mean, it, it, even if I lose this game, I'm, I'm not, or even if I were to um, not lose this game, sorry, if I were to win this game, I'm not getting prize money. So who cares? Who cares? Not me. Um, I guess I'll play B6 takes an A5 maybe. Looks kind of interesting. I mean, it looks bad because he's got the central pawns. My pawns are split, but his pawns are a little bit weak here. I have a5, bishop a6, maybe something. I mean, it's it's not good, but it's not that bad. What's your social security, by the way? Asking for a friend. Yes, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for that. Plays h3. I mean, I, the funny thing is I don't actually think this is so bad for me. That's what's funny. I'll go a5 and like bishop a6. Not so sure how bad this really is now that I look at it more. It's interesting. It feels like it should be really bad, but in reality, I think it might be okay here. Um oh, but now I can't go bishop a6. Shoot. Or wait, no, I can. Knight d3. I can try it, but I don't think it's good. Um what about c5, knight d7, knight c5. Yeah, life is short. Let's go for it. Life is short. Life is too short to not have fun. So I'm going to play knight c4 and take. Maybe I won't actually. Let me think about this for a second. No, I think actually I don't. I think I'm going to go here. Initially, I was going to trade and play knight c4, but I think he just goes knight c3. So I think knight d7 is actually correct. Because c6, I can just take. Bishop e3 hangs upon on b2. It's actually not so bad. Kind of interesting. Very interesting position, in fact. Oh, no, I forgot my social security number. What's yours? It might help me remember, indeed. Okay, so he does play bishop e3. Wow, okay. Um, but now I take... This doesn't look right, actually. Go here. Bishop c6 is a big threat. I know somehow I don't believe in this. I think Niels has made a mistake here. Somehow this just doesn't look right. 
So he goes there, so I drop back. Of course, now e4 is weak. I have bishop c6. This just doesn't look right to me. And now he also has to worry about c5 as well. It was knight c3. I expected that. Um, queen c7 or queen c8 are the two moves. My assumption... Oh, c8, he's got knight d5, but then I can take. So no, this has to be right. Because if I go to c7, there's knight d5. There's also knight b5. So I just want to go after the juicer on, on c5 here. I think I'm going to win this game, actually. I feel pretty good about it. Wow, okay. Oh, but he has counterplay with knight d5. Maybe I take... Oh, maybe I... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I think. It's knight d5, which is maybe annoying. Can't take on c3. Wait a second. Queen a8, knight d5. Okay, I'm thinking too long again. This is correct. It's queen b5. Still very tricky. I think rook a4 is correct, though. Go here. I think everything is guarded. I want knight c6. I can blockade, I just win the game, I think. Just take, maybe? Rookie Sun was a horrible move by me. Yeah, why did I... Oh my gosh, it was such a bad move by me. What the heck was that? Okay, he blunders back. Another shaky game, but we got the win. I just want to take a look at the analysis because I know I misplayed it, but where, what was the right move? Was this right or was this... Did he actually... Was this correct? It's actually not that... Wow, so I was actually... I was supposed to play Rook C5 and just pretend that he didn't blunder. How bizarre. Rook A4 is, of course, a stupid move. Okay, this is good. And rook e7 is just like a horrible move. But even rook a4, it's not actually giving it's not actually giving me a big edge here, which is which is kind of nuts. Huh. If you're supposed to pretend he didn't blunder, then he didn't blunder. Yeah. Very weird. Yeah, and it's still, I mean, it's still better, but yeah, it's tricky. Yeah, it's a win. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a win. Obviously, I'm not making the top five, but it's still a good it's still a good way to finish.
And the winners are a nine and a half, which really makes me sad. Because if I had just drawn the game against Min Lei, I probably would have had a chance to win win this event. That's nah, what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, it's kind of kind of unfortunate to put it mildly, but yeah, it is what it is. That's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, if the winning score was like 10 or 10 and a half, I, I'd be like, okay, whatever, not my day. But it, I mean, it was close. Okay. Uh, let's play some Blitz.